Okay, so you can see these streets is a Rua Fernão Mendes Pinto and Rua Direito Carlos Eugenio. So these are two different streets and they end right in the spot and this one that we're going to focus on goes down that way. And uh, the other one has a firecrackers factory which is down that way and this goes down the type of village. And then uh, briefly over here there's a Gotai Casino strip is over that direction. But we're going to go down this way and there's a firecrackers factory that we're going to focus on as well. And there's some pretty cool stuff that leads right into Taipa Centro, which is um, where we're going to be taking you today. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so welcome to Macau 2023, and we're documenting the city of Macau so you can see exactly what it looks like in 2023. Let's check everything out. <laughs> So that's the other street. Actually, this street is kind of a long street, and it's like three, diff three different streets, but they're all one street at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, here's the Firecrackers factory, so I just filmed that. Um, so you probably have already seen that on the channel, or if you haven't, you can take a look at it. But uh, this area that we're in, Taipa, was known for um, firecracker production. And, um, and this would have been the main location of it. And actually, if you go in, we just I did another one where I filmed the whole area in there, so you can find that in my channel. But the thing I like about this one is it has all these Chinese characters that are all the way down as well. So we'll see that. Um, and over here, we have some... They're kind of making this into a tourist attraction area. Um, it already was, but I mean, this is a major addition. This... Um, Firecracker factory. I'm going to show you where we are on the map in a second. But yeah, they call these characters that are all the way down. And then this is our map right here. So uh, you are here. So basically this type of used to, used to be like this. And then now this is all the casinos. Kotai Strip goes all the way down to Kolowan. So they filled in all the land between two islands. So type of used to be this and then the firecrackers factory this used to be ocean, which is now these beautiful houses overlooking the, the casinos. And then we're right here. So people used to come in here and then there was um, oyster stuff and we're basically in this little space. And I guess historically there was only two islands, a big type of island and little type of island. But then those two, um, I think this, this giant river between Macau and Hong Kong, they kind of pushed down all the sediment, the soils and stuff like that. So I guess my understanding is that um, let's check this out real quick. So my understanding, they're also doing something new with this one too. I'll try to get another angle over there. So my understanding is the sediment built up between those two islands and then they created one giant Taipa Island. But now we still call it Taipa, Little Taipa, Big Taipa because there used to be two islands. One was bigger than the other. And if you look in here, you can see some glass that they're getting ready to construct. There's a bunch of more glass piled up over here too and then this type of um, that right there is just all this big type of uh, sorry firecrackers factory area so that whole space is um, pretty massive and it's now a museum so so all the tourists can go down and check it all out yeah and this is um, um, basically between this little type of, uh, type of village. And also it's over by, um, uh, this temple is closed now. It was open before. But there's a type of village and then also a type of central. So we're walking towards type of central right now. Then this used to be like a little, this is um, type of village. So they were trying to reconstruct all this, um, like an art scene in, in this space. So to make, promoting art, culture. And then this one was, what is it now? The port? So this one is something different now. Now it's called the port, but it was they call the burger joint and it was like kind of more rainbow colored. And now it looks like they painted it all black. It's pretty cool though. I'm gonna come over here, try to capture that image of that. So there's a temple right there, but if you go up, it's a nice building. So now it's kind of a black color, but it was like more like rainbow color.
And then if you go all the way, then you go like, like right where that spot is at, that way, then you can go up this um, type of houses and uh, a church called Mont Carmel as well. Okay, so let's casually walk a little bit further. These little kiosks right here, there's a lot to kind of check out right in here. These little kiosks, I think used to be like little police. So I think historically the Portuguese were the ones that were here, right? And then I think they kind of had like people from India because uh, um, there's parts of India that was part of uh, Portugal, including uh, Goa. I think there's some other ports too. But anyways, they would kind of man these stations and be kind of in charge of security. Let's check out this stuff over here too. This one has measurements, so. And then um, I have walked in here a little bit, but this all goes towards that firecracker museum now. Oh, this is all the storm surge stuff. So sometimes they'll say there's a storm surge, um, water will go up to two meters, 2.5 meters, 1.5. So they'll have that, and then you can see exactly what to expect, because uh, we get typhoons here. That's still our main street we have for now, Mendes Pinto. So if you get a typhoon, um, usually the water, the winds will come in and then after the typhoon goes by, it, there'll be a storm surge. It'll bring in all the, um, all the um, waters and things like that. I think this is a black and white. I think maybe it's kind of like more Hong Kong style. So maybe we'll just kind of check that out real quick. So yeah, I'll see like some of this stuff, some noodles, like they kind of do this fusion stuff. Butter and bread, coffee. It's like not quite Western, but kind of Western. Okay, so we're gonna come over to this side of the street. There's um, a little language tutoring place. And actually we're gonna come up to the end of the street quite quickly actually. Then you got these little alleys that goes up to the main street up that way. Got a Japanese shop right in here and um, we go check that all out as well. Some of these are closed because uh, um, for various reasons, but I think right now there's like COVID, call it COVID peak right now. So uh, th three years Macau was closed and then they opened it all up entirely, following exactly in line with what China's doing. And so there's like a COVID surge throughout the city right now. So um, some are just starting to open up, but some of them are still closed. Some, some like this are permanently closed because of the uh, pandemic. But it's also bringing some new ones. I think this is new here. So. Then you got some little alleys. Let me just kind of walk into the alley real quick. But in here you got some uh, restaurants and you also have some um, some little businesses that people don't really think about so much. But that looks like it's closed right now. So this was a little uh, Kamita restaurant. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the circle real quick. That car looks abandoned and it put all their stuff in it. Like even like cat trays, huh, someone you brought. Yeah, down in this area, it's a little bit funny. But anyways, we're gonna walk in a circle and come back to our Target Street. There's an Italian pizza place down here. That one in green. There's even somebody sitting outside too. So that one is, um, um, I think it's, somebody said it's like, I think I, think I went in there, usually Filipinos are working a lot of the restaurants like that and they'll speak some English usually and I think she I think the person there was telling me I'm sure it was a Filipino woman was telling me that uh that the owner is Italian so I think that's what wow this just went out of business too this is a little Japanese um yakitori and it's went out of business so yeah actually just kind of sum up um right now you can see December 29 right so 2022 and um and we're just kind of opening up again but a lot of businesses went out of business other businesses are temporarily closed because of the covid epidemic and that one i was surprised is closed too there's a lot of them that i'm really surprised stuff that i thought were like fixtures 
And now we're back at our Target Street. Um, I'm glad that some of these are here. Bee Leaf is a really good restaurant. And it's still here. So that's our Target Street right there. We're for now Mendes Pinto. And before we end, a cup of coffee. Kind of has some, um, a lot of foreigners really like that place a lot. That's a new burger place right there called Dino. Made in Macau. And then now we're kind of at this uh, roundabout. So this is Kingsville. This is kind of a reference because there's um, a bus stop. So people say, I'll meet you at Kingsville. There's a Christmas tree. And then there's, uh, this is all kind of type of central, type of downtown. So, okay. So this is our focus street right here. Who we'll for now, Mendes Pinto. I'm just gonna check out Dino's real quick. Got a cup of coffee right there. And I guess Dino says it's made in Macau. Hiring. Local and foreign workers are, are welcome. Huh. We got cheeseburgers. So it's like kind of like a fast food made in Macau kind of place. Looks kind of cool. So anyways, that's our focus street all the way down that way. And then we're gonna just kind of briefly go this way, just briefly. Yet Kitchen. This, I, sometimes I like to give a little bit more context to a street. So that um, street that we're at, you know, there's a firecracker factory. It's kind of a cool little spot. And then you come out into type of central. There's a hotel right over here. Um, this place has Guinness right here in the corner. Let's see if it's still in business. Might have went out of business too. I think it's closed. So yeah, but they got, it's kind of closed. Maybe permanently closed. Yeah, it looks closed. So I guess COVID got that too. Uh, economically, the kind of city is kind of destroyed as you can imagine. So a lot of restaurants and stuff lost their, lost their way. So that's Avenue de Olympica. And that was our target street down that way, so um, so around the corner. But you can kind of see where we're at. Okay, I guess I'll go down just like just slightly down a little bit. Okay, so if we go da back down that way, we could go back down that way and then end our um, go back to where we started at. So it's kind of down the. And, the, and all the Kotai Strip casinos is all the way down that way too. So we're gonna end right here. Okay, so welcome to Macau 2023. And we're documenting the city of Macau so you can see exactly what it looks like in 2023. Let's check everything out. Yeah. Yeah.